I find myself this week in Las Vegas, Nevada for this annual SEMA convention. And I came upon this. All right, let's talk about Las Vegas Convention Center. This building here wasn't here two years ago. This complex of buildings is getting so massive that now it's getting hard to get from one place to the other. And so therefore they're starting to use kind of different ways, uh, ingenious ways, I would say, to get people, to move people from one side of this complex to the other. This is called the Las Vegas Loop. It is a closed circuit street that is only available for Tesla cars and they carry passengers from this side of the convention center to the other side of the convention center which is about a mile down the road right so there are so many naysayers I saw a whole video by Thunderfoot who debunks a bunch of these projects whether they need to be debunked or not and he debunked this one said it would never work but the that it was full of problems and it was just a joke. Well, this thing is not working so much that Las Vegas has now ordered another one that will extend the entire length of the Las Vegas Strip, right? This is so successful. It is helping with traffic, it is moving all these people from one side to the other side where they need to go, that now they're gonna do this but the entire length, which is, I don't know, something like 10 miles, seven to 10 miles, something like that, I would estimate out of the top of my head. This is a real thing. It's happening. There's a ton. I think there's like 75 of these Teslas from what I, out of the top of my head, reading. And they're carrying people in Las Vegas right now. Crazy idea that people say would not work. Here it is, working. Now, my schedule was very, very tight while I was at Las Vegas, so I didn't have a chance to ride the Tesla loop, but the following video gives you an idea of the typical ride experience. Can I pick any car? I'm heading west. Yes, yes absolutely. When one comes up, that one. That one right there? Okay. Oh, wow. It says push. Hello? Uh, good. Uh, my name is Denovi too, and uh, this is my first time down here. Do I need to uh, put a seatbelt on? Yep, yep, seatbelt. All right. You're probably getting a lot of people filming and uh, oh, yeah. this is oh, me. Yeah. This is me, right? This is really me. So you are driving. The vehicle is not I'm driving, driving itself. Yep, I'm driving right now. Okay. Yep. It's not self-driving though, right? It's not self-driving. So if you wanted to turn right and scrape the wall, you could? I could. Okay. Right Look at this. Right. Oh man, this is cool. <laughs> You know, I've seen the videos, but actually doing it myself like this, uh -huh. it's, it's incredible. It's very, uh, it's different. It's right? very different. It's very surreal. Total it's recall. Total recall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is very science fiction, very Blade Runner. Yeah. Um, was the Cybertruck in this tunnel? I wish. Oh, didn't, man. didn't, um, Jay Leno drive it through one of these tunnels? Was it this one? Oh, it was uh, the test one in California. Yeah, Maybe man, that's man. what it was. Might have been California. Okay, it's probably the California wall oh, in them here. Uh, this one is oh. fairly new. Look this at that. Tunnel. And then we are That's at the surface. Look at the look at the panoramic roof, folks. Oh, this is cool. Oh, and that's it. Oh, that was fast. Just like that. That was fast. The Las Vegas Convention Center Loop is part thrill ride, part light and sound show, but mostly just a commute across a sprawling convention center. If there's a show going on and you've got a lot of traffic in the convention center, it can be a 45 minute walk from one end to the other. The Loop gets you there in less than two minutes. Here's how it works. You enter the station and call for a Tesla. The system operates like an Uber or a Lyft. Uh, where you have an app on your phone, you say, I'm here, I want to go there. Car comes up, has an identifier on it that matches with what is on the app on your phone. Passengers don't have to make multiple stops because there are multiple exits. You go directly to your station of choice. The convention center has three, but plans are in the works to build a loop system citywide. 
I'm looking right now. I mean, there's the Ferris wheel. There's the new sphere under construction. The stadium is out there somewhere waiting to be used. Are you saying that eventually this loop is going to connect people from the airport to downtown to the stadium and everywhere in between? It, it will. And that eventually is not that far away. Construction on this loop was completed in two years for a cost of less than $53 million, including the stations. It's designed to handle 4,400 people an hour with 62 cars, right now with drivers, but soon they'll be autonomous. And what happens in Vegas? <laughs> Likely won't stay in Vegas. Any place that has congestion issues uh, needs to move people and really can't just keep expanding roadways is going to want to look at a system like this because it really makes a difference. And back. We're heading north. All right. How you doing? I'm pretty good at yourself. Excellent. Do we know if it's been approved for the rest of the city? Because um, the goal was hit. Wasn't the actual 4,000 passenger goal Oh yeah. Recent, yeah. Yep. Uh, per hour or something like that. Oh uh, yeah. It's uh, it was at 4,400. Um, I, I, we just uh, we had just done some more testing a couple weeks ago. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I never got the numbers on that, um, but I'm pretty sure it was bumped up a little bit. Uh, but we've also found out that we can actually run more than you know uh, 62. So here in the next couple weeks, we'll we'll have. Uh, probably a little bit of a higher number on that but they did uh, I know they just broke ground uh, about two weeks ago uh, at the West Station where I picked you up uh, for uh, Resorts World uh, hold on one second that's okay but yeah anyway they they uh, I don't know that the airport's been approved yet but uh, um, it, it looks like uh, I know for sure at least Resorts World, so it looks like the the, uh, the strip is next. So this is South Station. Here on the left, there's the Cutter Head. back at Central Station. Thank you so much, this is awesome. For sure. Just open your door, you'll hit that button on the handle and you wanna exit towards the front of the vehicle. Thank you for riding the loop and have a great rest of your day.